Hey guys, and welcome back to the School Finesse Podcast. I'm your host, Amen. Today we're talking about something many of us feel throughout the course of the semester, and that's stress. You hear it all the time from your family, your friends. They say, I'm stressed, I'm stressed out here. I don't know what to do. And you know, I'm a university senior, and I have to say that this week was a stressful week. And you have to understand that I don't use the word stress lightly. In all my years of school, I've only claimed to be stressed two times, and last week was the second time. While I was going through my stressful week, I thought, you know, maybe you all are going through a stressful time as well. So today I'll talk about first, stressors or things that cause stress. Second, identifying the stress. And third, stress management. Later on in our news fix, I'll talk about some perks that you don't know from a service that 90% of you probably use. All right, here we go. Number one, causes of stress. I had to go to WebMD for this one. You may become stressed if you're unhappy with your job, have a heavy workload or too much responsibility, work long hours, have poor management, unclear expectations of your work, or no say-so in decision-making processes. If you're insecure about your chances for advancement or risk of termination, you may also feel stressed. If you have to give speeches in front of your peers, or if you face discrimination or harassment at work, especially if your company isn't supportive. You may also become stressed if you had a death in a family or are going through relationship drama or have lost a job. Stressors don't always have to be negative, though. You can be stressed if you're preparing for a wedding or you're just moving into a new home. Sometimes stress can be okay because it can motivate us to continue working or work hard. It's when we don't manage our stress, that's when it becomes a problem. And by the way, don't feel like you're the only one going through stressful times. A recent study in a medical journal discovered that three out of four college students said that they were stressed. If you're stressed out, you probably have headaches, you feel tired, you can't concentrate, can't sleep, can't eat anything, or maybe you're overeating, stress eating. But here are a few tips to treat or prevent your stress. You already know the usual eat well, exercise, and you know, but today I have some great tips from Purdue University. Purdue is a public research university in Indiana. And fun fact, Purdue ranks fourth in the nation among top public universities in the U.S., and they have more than 400 study abroad options for students in 60 countries. In Purdue's article titled, The College Student's Guide to Stress Management, they offer some great tips. Here are five of them. Number one, have an outlet. You need a break most when you believe you don't have time to take a break. Find a new hobby, play sports, paint, draw, garden, do something that gives you an outlet from the tension of everyday life. Number two, build a support system. Having a strong support system is vital to weathering stressful times and living a joyful life. Surround yourself with family and or friends who lift you up, encourage you, listen without judgment, and provide sound perspective. Number three, make a plan. Get organized, make a plan, and stick to it. Prioritize your obligations each week and then schedule time for each. Time for studying, working, family, and friends. And don't forget yourself. Number four, think positively. Your thoughts create your reality, and it's time to turn negative thinking around. Try saying positive affirmations such as, I'm relaxed and calm, I can handle this situation with ease, or I will rise to the challenge no matter the obstacles. And I'll add this, pump yourself up. Don't wait for anyone else to do it. In this day and age, we have to become our own cheerleaders. And number five, Purdue ends on this important note for when stress gets too high. If your stress gets to the level of depression, anxiety, or many sleepless nights, make sure you take advantage of counseling services, doctors, therapists, and I'll add spiritual or religious counselors as well. Choose what works for you and get some help. All right, so there you have it, five tips to manage your stress, and that's from Purdue University in Indiana. Now, before we go on to the news fix, here's your challenge for the week. Share this episode with at least four stressed out students. All right. Now on to the news fix. So last week, I read in a paper of some great Amazon Prime perks that you probably don't know about. These perks were posted by Kim Commando from USA Today. Here are two advantages of Amazon Prime that you probably don't know about. The first one, we all know there are a ton of porch package thieves, so Amazon Prime offers deliveries to your car. The service is called Amazon Key in Car Delivery. If your car has an active connected car service plan like OnStar, you can set up the service. 
Amazon delivery agents will drop off the packages in your car as long as they can get to it on a ground level location. And then while you're shopping online, you shouldn't feel obligated to buy clothes that may not fit you. Amazon Prime offers a try before you buy option. Add to your cart three to eight eligible clothes, shoes, or accessories, and then Amazon will ship the items to you and give you a week to try them on before you have to decide to keep them and pay or to return them with a prepaid stamp at no additional cost. You can get seven more perks from Kim Commando in her USA Today article titled, Nine Amazon Perks You Didn't Know About Until Now. This article, along with the sources from today's episode, will be in our YouTube description box when you search School Finesse. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and share with a friend so you both can succeed together. Always remember, tune in every Monday morning for a new tip on how you can finesse your way through school. Until next time, I'm your host, Amen, signing off.